Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you. This is Pratik Srivastava here and today I am going to discuss TCS NQT 2020 that means previous year questions of slot 2 exam which was conducted on 3rd of August 2019. So friends in our today's video we are going to learn lot of tricks which will be definitely helpful for your upcoming TCS NQT 2021 examination. So let us start with the question number 1. Friends, the difference between the ages of two of my three grandchildren is three. So friends, there are three grandchildren are there G1, G2 and G3. My eldest grandchild age is three times than the age of my youngest grandchild. Okay, so friends, what I will do? So I will assume this is youngest. Okay and I will assume this is eldest, right? So eldest is nothing but three times of the younger one. Friends, first what you do for solving any questions of aptitude, first write down the data given in the question. I am not doing anything. I am just writing down the data here. So there are three grandchildren are there, G1, G2 and G3. See, three grandchildren, right? My three grandchildren, then my and eldest grandchild age is three times of the youngest one. So G3 is nothing but three G1. This is one of my equations, right? And my eldest grandchild age is and my eldest grandchild age is two years more than the age of my two youngest grandchildren. So my eldest grandchildren age is right two years more than age of my two youngest children. This is nothing but equation two. And one more thing they have told the difference between the ages of two of my grandchildren is three. So friends G1 minus G2 might be equal to three. G2 minus G3 might be equal to three, right? See, this is don't think this will be negative. So G2 minus G1, G3 minus G2. But I'm just saying so the difference between their ages. So we do not know which age is difference is 3, right? So this we will keep it aside. Now friends, so let us come to the questions again. How old is my youngest grandchild? So basically they are asking the age of the eldest grandchild. Friends, in the exam, if you want to guess, so out of four options, you can eliminate some and then you can guess. They are telling, they are telling friends, the eldest grandchild is three times of the youngest one. So friends, if the value of G1 will be 1, then eldest will be 3. If the value of G1 will be 2, then this will be 6. If it is 3, then it will be 9. If it is 4, then it will be 12. If it is 5, then it will be 15. Friends, what I want to say here is, so G3, so age of the eldest grandchild will be always a multiple of 3 will be always a multiple of 3, right? See, if G1 is 1, then 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, you can see it will be always a multiple of 3. So 13 is not a multiple of 3, 10 is not a multiple of 3. So out of these two, one will be your answer. So you could have gone for 50-50 in your examination if you want to guess. Okay. Now, I am going to solve friends by option attack method because this question is a very good question which was asked in the TCS examination. So option attack. Now, so out of these two, one will be your answer. So let us consider option A, 15 is your answer. That means you are saying G3 is 15. Then what will be equal to G1? So G1 will be equal to G3 by 3. That means 15 by 3 is nothing but 5. So we got G3 is 15 and G1 is 5. Now we have one equation G3. G3 is 15 we have assumed. 2 plus G1 is 5 plus G2 we will be able to calculate. So G2 will be equal to 15 minus 7 that is nothing but 8. So G2 we calculated 8 when we took option A as the right answer. Okay now let us see if we are able to fulfill this conditions or not. So what they are telling the difference between the ages of two of my grandchildren is 3. So you see friends G2 minus G1 is what? 8 minus 5 that is nothing but 3 yes so it perfectly 
works so option a will be the correct answer if you take option b then c g3 will become 12 g1 will become what 12 by 3 means 4 and so g3 is 12 is equal to 2 plus 4 plus g2 so g2 will become what 6 so now you can see so the difference so the difference will be nowhere you can see here friends the difference will be nowhere 3 right so option a is the correct answer friends trust me this is the best possible solution for this particular question see friends you may say sir you have taken more than 5 6 minutes so friends the only reason is i have to teach each and every one and they should be able to understand this question i could have done trust me easily within a minute so within a minute i would have done but i have to take care of each and every one so that they will be able to understand because this is a, a concept of prime number that means multiplication of three then you have to write down all the data and then how to use the option attack so telling you all those things will definitely take time but you will be able to solve it easily let us move towards question number two question number two also friends you can see tcs nqt 2020 slot 2 examination friends you can put this question on the google and then you will be able to find out so this problem were asked this particular problem friends if i say i can solve in one line or i can solve in mind itself friends mary meeker in her annual internet trends report said that americans are spending even more time in digital media 6.3 hours 6.3 hours americans are spending in 2018 okay 6.3 hours per day right up five percent from the years before so from the previous year if you'll compare it is nothing but five percent up five percent more let us try to understand once once more so mary meeker in her annual internet trends report said that americans are spending even more times in digital media that is 6.3 hours per day in 2018 which is 5% more, 5% up from the year before, from 2017. Then how much time did Americans spend with digital media in 2017? Then how much time did Americans spend with digital media in 2017? So friends, here 5% more. Now, which option you will take? Option attack. So option attack is the main key here. So friends, which option should I take? So let us take see friends these are in the fraction take consider this option at the end because this is in the fraction okay so it will be it will create problem so now let us see option b if we are taking six so what will be the five percent of six five percent of six will be nothing but 30 by 100 which is nothing but 0.3 so 0.3 earlier it was six now it is 6.3 yes correct option b itself is correct option d five five percent will be what 5 5 percent will be what 0.25 so from 5 hours if it will increase 5 percent it will become 5.25 which is wrong so option b is the correct answer friends do not first try with all this kind of option and make your problems complicated friends no need of pen and paper no need of pen and paper for this particular question see the question tick the answer and come back question number three Friends, this problem also, when you see, you feel all these problems are very tough. And friends, one more thing which I wanted to tell you. So in TCS examination, we will be having fill up the blanks. So for this particular question, this was fill up the blanks. That means option was not given. So you have to be careful. Okay. So fill up the blanks will be there. And then multiple choice questions will be also there. So this is nothing but fill up the blanks where you have to fill the blank. That means you have to get the answer. Let us see. Some scientists interpret satellite data to mean that glaciers are melting faster than in earlier centuries. In each decade since the industrial revolution, the amount of glacier melt has doubled. And some scientists predict that all the glacier will have melted away all unnecessary information. All the glaciers will have melted away by 2000. 37. So this is one important information. Otherwise, you know, this all these informations are of no use. Some scientists predict that all the glaciers will have melted away by 2037. So in 2037, 100% glaciers will melt down. If indeed this was true, 
in which year would have lost 50% of all the glaciers right see friends you can see this information so the amount of glacier melt has doubled right see in each decade in each decade since the industrial revolution the amount of glacier melt has doubled so friends 2027 if it will be 50 percent then only in a decade so one decade will be what friends one decade will be 10 years one decade will be 10 years right so in 10 years the in 10 years the glacier glacier is melting by double of the amount so if it will be 50 percent year then double means 200 percent will be melted out by 2037 so they are asking in which year they would have lost 50 percent of all glaciers that is nothing but 227 do you friends really need pen and paper for this kind of particular problems no and these are the tcs nqt 2020 actual question so in the fill in the blanks you had to fill 2027 okay friends one more thing i wanted to tell you so we are going to release tcs nqt 2021 materials and friends we are not selling any gold package any silver package and any diamond package friends education is meant to be free freely available for everyone and that is how we are working on it so friends just to maintain our website and to pay to the teachers those who are teaching that's what we are collecting from the student so our package will be nowhere even 999 okay uh, 1299 21.99 31.99 no friends so our package will be available for very less price and friends you know about our quality so we are maintaining the quality we are maintaining the standard and we have lot of tricks which is available okay now so friends our material will be somewhat near to 6.99 rupees so friends it will be very cheap very affordable and friends quality will be there in that we will be covering all the interview related aspects everything we will cover so aptitude reasoning coding verbal ability live interview and friends every saturday and sunday every saturday and sunday we will be having the doubt clearing session as well okay so doubt clearing session for one to two hours will be there so that whatever the doubts you have you will be able to clarify your doubts friends those who have already bought the material in 899 which is the ultimate package so they will be getting all those things uh, for free so we are going to launch it soon maybe in another couple of days we will definitely let you know and friends this is uh, one materials which we have prepared for very less price so basic concept and formulas which we have mentioned tcs previous year problem this material also consists 2020 so 2020 whatever the exam had happened that problem so tcs previous year's problem 14 to 75 page practice problem for tcs and then tcs 30 minutes coding challenge and mcqs so 208 page it is somewhat like a book and this book is available just for 149 rupees on our website so friends this we are really helping you out and the charges will be always affordable and quality we have more than 400 plus videos on youtube to check what we teach how is our quality i will take you to our websites friends so friends this is our website you can see so this is our premium pdf material so you can see this material is already available right so if you'll zoom it so this material is already available fully sold and friends the description is also given here so total 208 pages are there so friends this is very much important for your upcoming tcs examination and the video material also we will be releasing it soon till then friends watch out our channel and subscribe it so that you get all the videos for free so friends education we are going to make it completely free for each and everyone because at this certain level at this certain stage where you are looking for a job money matters a lot thank you friends